So for question three, we've got another binomial. Uh, H0 is P is 0 0.45, and H1 is P does not equal 0 0.45. And so in this case, we have 5% test, but it's a two-tail test. So we're going to be looking for 2.5% at each end as we look for that then. Um, under H0, um, under H0, X is a binomial distribution. How many times are we testing it? We're doing for 10 and under H0, it's 0.45. So we've got to do critical values at both ends this time. So um, the binomial um, less than or equal to um, 0.45. Let's have a look. So stick a 0 0.025 at the end there. And it tells us, oh, that's one I, I guessed at earlier, isn't it? So the probability that X is less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.0995. That's too big. So let's go down one. So less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.0323. So this is less than 5%. So that's going to be the critical value at one end. Let's go to the other end as well. The probability that X is greater than or equal to. So on my calculator now, I'm just changing this now to a greater than. So we'll go greater than here. And again, I'm going to put the 0 0.025 there. And it tells me greater than or equal to 8 is 0 0.0273. A little bit too much that. So we'll go back and change it to a 9 and the probability that x is greater or equal to 9 is, so that's a small number, 0 0.0045. Um, I could look at it a little bit more, 450. So there's the two ends. So this is the critical value at that end. That's the critical value at the other end. Let's just read the rest of it. Yes, yeah, so just answering part A, the critical region is X is less than or equal to 1, unioned with the probability that X is greater than or equal to 9. And I know that doesn't... Oh, no, I've put probabilities there. Can't have probabilities there. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, so there's the bits we want. Um, now, the probability of a type 1 error in this case is the probability of making the wrong decision here. And we've been doing these before in the first year. That's just the value of the test. So these two things added together, um, which is still quite low, 0 0.0278, I think we've got there, if we add those two things together. And the probability of making a type 2 error, a type 2 error um, is... The probability, let's have a think here, we need to accept H0, so we don't want to be in a critical region at all then. So basically, we want to be in anything from 2 up to 8, because if we got anything from 2 to 8, we'd stay at H0, wouldn't we? Given that, and it has to tell us this, the probability actually later turns out to be 0 0.4. So into our distribution menu here then so we've got a between um, 2 and 8 from 10 and actually it wasn't 0 0.45 it was 0 0.4 and so this turns out to be 0 0.9519 so we wanted to keep H0 so not in the critical region so that's anything from 2 to 8 given that the probability was 0 0.4 um, so I just use